I'm Pete May, president of GreenBiz Group, and I'm delighted to be here today with Beth Howe, who's head of investor relations at HP. Beth, good to have you on GreenBiz Studio today. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. That's great. Uh, also great to have you on here. We have a lot of um, chief sustainability officers on this program, CSR people. Uh, you're a little bit exotic in that you are the head of investor uh, relations for HP, but my sense is you spend uh, a good chunk of your day, um, even if you're investor relations and reporting to the CFO, uh, most of your day is focused on things sustainability, right? Well, I actually have a balance. So sustainability is, is part of what I do. I actually, in addition to heading up investor relations, I'm also the finance executive sponsor for our Sustainable Impact Executive Committee, so work across our organization uh, with other uh, teams across the company on sustainable impact issues, but most of my day is spent with investors and analysts. Yeah, that's that's great. So I want to cue you up to talk about, you know, HP for us, um, you've been, we know you've been very active practitioner uh, in sustainability, gosh, going back um, for a long time, and uh, it's really interesting to see you evolve. I know just recently, I know you're gonna talk about them. You have some new goals, um, some climate goals. Um, talk, talk to us a little bit about how HP, and, and from your vantage point, sitting in investor relations, um, how HP uh, is engaged on sustainability and how, uh, with your climate goals, you're planning for the future. Absolutely. Well, it's a really exciting topic, and, and we're really excited about the new goals that, that we've launched because, as you know, HP's purpose is really to create technology that makes life better for everyone everywhere. And so as we face the convergence of all these mounting challenges of climate change, systemic inequality, the digital divide, it's really important that companies embed purpose in their culture and their business strategy. And so the ambitious agenda that we just launched is really about becoming the most sustainable and just technology company in the industry. And we have an aggressive climate goal agenda, one of which is to create net zero or to achieve net zero. And we're really excited about all that we're doing in this area. And there are really three key pillars of impact. There's carbon emissions, circularity, and forests. And so we're intentionally engaging not only our management, but also our employees and our customers and partners on all of these topics. It's really exciting. Talk to us a little bit about net zero. We're seeing right now at GreenBiz a lot of companies making um, announcements around net zero. Sometimes uh, we, we find it's really an interesting time for us to try to decipher that because net zero, there's different definitions, there's different, mm -hmm. different commitments. Um, talk a little bit kind of substantively, you mentioned those, those couple of areas. How do you put substance around, around your net zero commitments into the areas you mentioned? Sure, I think it's a great question and, and one that lots of companies are, are wrestling with and, and standardization of definitions is clearly very important. You know, we believe that this next decade is going to frankly be one of the most consequential in modern business history mm. and climate mm. change is on the forefront of that and so that's one of the reasons we're really driving toward this net zero carbon and frankly a fully regenerative economy. As we think about that, we have several specific climate related goals. Uh, one is to be carbon neutral and zero waste in HP's operations by 2025. We're also targeting net zero in our supplies and services by 2030 with our full value chain getting to net zero by 2040. And then 75% of our product circularity goal as well. So there's a lot of things that we're doing in order to drive this agenda forward and really have ambitious goals for our company and our ecosystem. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, and so with that, I, I think the final question today um, is, you know, we talk about there's, uh, we're seeing a lot of visions for a low carbon future. We're seeing necessity for a low carbon future for, from both, uh, both for the for our society to to survive and flourish. Um, talk to us a little bit about your the vision that HP has for a low carbon future and what that means. Sure, we're actually really excited about this agenda that we've launched, and and we frankly reject the the notion that it's either purpose or profit. We believe great companies can and should do both. 
And so as we think about it, we're really driving at both of those things. In fact, it's not just HP, but also our customers. Over the last two years, we've actually been tracking and over a billion dollars of sales annually are driven by sustain or include sustainability criteria in their consideration. And so these are really important metrics for us that we are reporting annually in our sustainable impact report as we not only want to be achieving these goals, but also providing transparency. And this is really important for investors, right? The transparency that we provide them in terms of not only what our goals are, but the progress that we're making toward them over time so that they can really track and understand what we're doing and how we're making progress, whether it's our climate action goals that we talked about just a minute ago, or some of our circularity when we think about our world's most sustainable PC platform, or the things that we're doing around uh, forest positive with our printers and the, the equipments we made there, or working with our partners in terms of our Amplify Impact program that we have with our partners. So there's a lot of really interesting work going on, and we feel that we're really all in this together. It's HP, it's our communities in which we work and live that are all come together to do this really important work for, for our climate and our, our world. So we're really excited about all these initiatives. Yeah, that's that's great. Beth. Yeah, it's, it's exciting to see this progress. It's exciting to see uh, people like you that have a title in investor relations bringing into the fold because, as you and I have, to, have discussed, um, you're showing real leadership and bringing more of your peers in the investor relations area into the fold is really exciting. So, Beth Howe from HB, thanks for joining us today on Studio. Thank you for having me.